Hi, and welcome to AQ's Blog and Grill. Today, we're really excited to have Caitlin McGregor, uh, a co-founder and CEO of Plum. Now, you may wonder what Plum is, and that's why we have Caitlin here, because I'm going to grill Caitlin McGregor. So get ready, and here we go. So, Caitlin. Hi, Alan. What is Plum? What's all about this Plum thing? Um, well, basically, we help employers find amazing potential in their applicant pool. And we do that by assessing for personality at the very beginning of the hiring process. And so this is a, uh, this is a software program. Yes. And are we selling in North America? We are. So it's a software as a service platform that helps companies with 50 employees up to about 5,000 or more employees. Okay. And half of our customers are in the US, half are in Canada. But basically, um, when they post a job online, they're using our URL directly into their job post so that every single person that applies for their job takes our Plum Discovery Survey. And we assess for problem solving ability, personality priorities, as well as social effectiveness. And from there, we can shortlist which applicants are the perfect fit for the company based on company culture and the needs for that unique position. Wow, so this, this sounds fabulous. And you're a, a startup. Yes. This, how, how long have you and your two co-founders been going at this? We actually started with the idea about four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we were, all three of us, running a management team of an educational software company. And we went to make our first hire. And we were told that messing up that hire was going to cost the company $300,000. So we used an assessment to assess all 80 applicants that applied for the position, and two candidates stood out. One looked amazing on paper. I mean, he was the golden boy. Uh, master's in education, five years work experience, very charismatic. But his scores showed that he'd be mediocre. But because he was the golden boy, he got the job. Mm -hmm. And then there was another applicant who had scores 10 points above everybody else, ranking her in the top 3% of the workforce. So we hired her as well. And what happened is that uh, three months later, the guy's fantasy football team was doing really well, <laughs> but uh, he was only doing 10% of his work, so he was fired. Whereas the girl, on the other hand, within five months was running the entire operations of the company, and within a year and a half, I groomed her to replace me as acting president while I went on maternity leave. And the punchline is, she had a BA in fine arts, her only work experience was being a waitress for seven years, and she didn't even know how to use Excel. So we realized that if we had used the traditional hiring process, she never would have made it into the interview. And even if somehow she made it into the interview and been hired, she never would have been given the grooming and the um, professional development to be running the company in just a year and a half. Wow. So after testing this out with some few um, companies over about a year and kind of building a beta product in uh, 2012, we launched the business full time and uh, launched our new um, platform last year, and then just uh, this year rebranded from Cream HR to Plum. Excellent, so um, you have two co-founders, and one of them, ironically, if I would know, is Christine Bird, who is that very same person that you Yes. Hired. And the other co-founder is uh, Neil McGregor. That's true. Right. What's just Neil's background? Um, so when we were running the educational software company, um, Neil was out there teaching students and uh, educators how to use technology to help them succeed in school. Yeah. And he had a lot of experience firsthand because he had a learning disability, has a learning disability and was using the, the programs in school. So he's somebody that understands firsthand that implementing technology can create a much better outcome. And so his job was to get people that necessarily weren't tech savvy to also adopt the, um, the software. And so his experience of training people made him perfect for taking our software and onboarding our customers and also creating processes around our marketing automation, using tools to help us scale our business. So what makes Plum unique from other offers that are out there already? So the biggest thing is that assessments have been around for a long time, but over the last 30 years, the business model has meant that they're often charging a lot of money per test. So employers are using them on only a very few number of applicants at the mm. very end of the hiring process. Mm. So they're reading resumes, and resumes are a marketing document. They don't actually tell you who somebody is. So some of the best people in the pile are often being overlooked for the ones that look shiny and, and have the years of experience. Those shortlisted people are getting into the interview, and it's only then, after you've weeded out the people that potentially don't interview very well, then are taking an assessment. Mm -hmm. Whereas all the science backs up that the greatest predictors of workplace performance, personality, problem-solving ability, social effectiveness, 
normally employers aren't getting that information except for on the very few, often overlooking the best that were in their pile of, mm -hmm. of resumes, and or waiting for three months until they've been on the job. And the reality is, is that 89% of failed hires are due to attitude. And yet, we're assessing attitude at the very end of the hiring process or waiting until we've already spent that salary on them. Wow. So organizations, whether they be 50 people or, or, or 5,000 people, could be wasting a lot of time, a lot of money, by not doing uh, profiling effectively. Absolutely. It really is about taking the best predictors of potential and, and performance and assessing for them at the very beginning of the hiring process. So every single applicant is taking this and we're seeing amazing diamonds in the rough. 17 year old high school students that are saving uh, companies a quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. People that you know have transferable skills and so didn't necessarily stand out in their resume. We're constantly finding these people that have you know, amazing potential can work three, four times more than the average worker, and yet they're not even given the opportunity. So with our assessment, we're constantly finding people with enormous potential, and then also being able to make sure that they'll fit the culture. So running a startup, mm -hmm. it's really important for me to hire people that can think outside the box, then constantly iterate and pivot, and that's actually personality that we can look for. So I can find smart, hardworking people that also like to think outside the box and do new things on a regular basis. Cool. Now, if I already have a team of, of 100 people, could I as an employer have my team go through the profiling process so that I can see, oh my goodness, there's a diamond in the rough who's been here for six years. Absolutely. So internal assessments are something that um, employers will often do to um, quantify their company culture to get a better sense of what it is that is co in common and what su um, success looks like in the mm -hmm. different teams. They'll also use it to optimize teams, so they'll notice that four or five people are like this, but one of them is, is causing a problem and they'd be better suited in a different team. Right. Um, a lot of kind of shuffling around and then also finding people that really should be um, promoted or start to be groomed for those upper management roles. So succession planning, internal promotions, all of these become really key. And then also there's the ability that once you find something in your organization that you really want to like, what you really like and you want to replicate, we kind of can allow for cloning to happen. Right. If you've got some people you want to find others that are just like that, let's get a benchmark on who they are and we can t identify in your applicant pool who's a good match to that type of personality. Wow. This is great. So and maybe, I'm just thinking as a, as a job applicant, uh, Plum could be of an advantage to me if I wanted to take a profile and then present it as part of my resume? Absolutely. So job seekers never have to pay to take our assessment and they can promote their Plum badges, their Plum scores to employers. So if they're really good at conflict, uh, conflict management or really good at persuasion or task work, those are type of traits that they can promote on their resume, LinkedIn profile, social media, and it's a real differentiator. And right. we have lots of stories of job seekers coming back to us saying, I've been looking for a job for a really long time, I started to promote my uniqueness, and I got a job thanks to my Plum scores. So what's next for Plum? You guys have launched out now and you've got some customers. What's next for Plum? So really for us, we want to allow um, large job boards and uh, talent communities to use their Plum scores as a method of differentiating, mm -hmm. both for the marketplace of the employer as well as the job seeker. So platform integrations really is what we're focusing mm. on at this point. Right. We're running some pilots in the fall that allow us to um, do some um, integrations in platforms that focus specifically on entrepreneurs, since we can predict entrepreneurial ability, as well as a large job board that is both looking to support their job seekers as well as differentiate their job board even more by really being able to quantify quality and to show why their um, job seekers stand out other, from other job boards as well as allowing that unique match within their, their database, the right. match between the employer and the job seeker. So sitting here chatting, Caitlin, I guess what I'm hearing is that this is similar to Moneyball, the, the, the system that was used by the Oakland, Oakland A's in the baseball world. Absolutely. So a lot of our customers actually call us Moneyball for hiring. This is about using big data to make better decisions, to actually predict future outcomes using proven uh, data. So for us, it, it really is allowing 
um, decision makers at companies to make better decisions. This isn't just about HR anymore. I mean, we often will talk about CEOs walking into their office and looking at a financial statement and they can tell the health of their organization. Mm -hmm. They can see where there's weaknesses, where there's potential risks, but they don't have an equivalent when it comes to their greatest asset, their people. So really the plum people statement gives them at a glance the same understanding. And so, you know, they're able to use the same type of financial data, but on their people. Wow, I really like that, the plum people statement. So Caitlin, is there some sort of dashboard that the, uh, the business owner or COO can, can look at? In real time, you can see all the data on, of your applicants all on one simple screen. Mm -hmm. And it's basically you know, a dashboard that allows you to see the strengths of all the applicants and also some filters that allow you to then prioritize based on your unique needs. And we're actually releasing um, this fall an ability for employers to answer a few questions on their own and it'll create a match score so that you don't need to use a uh, success manager. In the past, we've been working one-on-one -on -one with employers mm -hmm. with a customer success manager. But for people that really just want to do it on their own, they can fill out their own survey and it'll actually match up the applicants. And the nice thing is every company and every job is always unique. There is no one magic sales position or one magic director of operations. Right. So this way, companies are getting their unique needs met for that unique position. And simply by taking a few minutes to fill out a survey, they can see who are the best matches within their applicant pool. Fabulous. Caitlin, we're going to sum up now. So as a, as a business owner, please tell me the three reasons why I should be investing in the Plum software. So with 89% of failed hires happening due to attitude, we can dramatically reduce the number of failed hires and make sure that you're getting your needs met for your company culture and position. It's extremely easy to use and affordable. Most companies pay $500 a month and they get unlimited testing on all of their applicants. And depending on their size of company, we'll also do your internal staff. And the third reason is, is that it's 2014. Resumes are completely outdated. The hiring process is completely broken. There is a better way that's proven by years of science on a, uh, how to do this, and we're a solution that affordably does it at the beginning of the hiring process so that you really can identify those diamonds in the rough. Great, thank you. Oh, fist bump. Thank you to Caitlin McGregor, uh, CEO and co-founder of, uh, of Plum. And if you'd like to know about Plum, more about Plum, you can go to their website, and that web address is Plum.io. Thanks for joining us today, Kate. Thank you, Alan.